Each year, Academy scientists discover and describe dozens of new species. Why is this important? Most people don't realize we know so little about the natural world, who we share this planet with. We estimate that we understand about 20% of all life on Earth. And think about it, in the next 50 years, how many of those species are we going to lose? Many of them, we won't even know their name. Most of them, we won't know any of their biology. It really is a race against time. This past year, our researchers described frogs, beetles, ants, spiders, fish, sharks, sea slugs, corals, plants, a tardigrade, and several new viruses. All of them important connections to maintaining healthy lives for all of Earth's inhabitants, including us. What we really want to understand is what kinds of viruses are out there in nature that have not yet been able to infect humans, and what's their potential for ultimately being able to infect and sicken humans and other animals. One of the things we do is we run around collecting mosquitoes. And a lot of people think this is a little weird or there are hazards to the job. That might be true, but mosquitoes have tons of information. They collect blood because the females need it to develop their eggs. So the blood has information about what they've been feeding on and also what kind of viruses the host might have that they fed upon. We put them into a blender, a special blender, not your average Vitamix. After we blended them up, we extracted their genomic information, and that includes all of the potential genes, not only their own genes, but also the genes of the critters that live inside them or the critters that they fed upon. We did find quite a few viruses in different species of mosquito. Bennett and her team likely get the award for smallest species discovered, but Brian Fisher is a close second. In 2015, we published a small, small work on a small, small ant. They're like little wolves, deep in the leaf litter, chasing down prey with their pointy daggers on their mandibles. We call them Dracula ants because they actually feed off the blood of their babies. So the ants go back to the nest, scratch their babies until they bleed, and then they drink the blood of their own babies. We never said that all of these unknown species we share this planet with are altruistic or beautiful. Some are downright gross, but they all play their part. It's a system that we're dependent on. This system creates all those ecosystem services, all these benefits for humans. We need that system for clean water, for air, for our climate. We're dependent on it. Species discovery and description is hard work, but for those who do it, it's also very rewarding. One characteristic of scientists is that we really love to explore. And some people might get the wrong impression, especially when you're in school and you're learning from textbooks about everything that's known. There is so much that's unknown. There's so much territory to explore, so much room for new and up and coming scientists and explorers to really give and find new valuable information.